12 Points has an interesting history. First of all, it was sort of the uh, first commercial district on the north side of Terre Haute, but the intersection of three streets, and it was also the U.S. Highway 41 at that time. It was like a second downtown for Terre Haute, and it was really thriving uh, through the 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s. Over the years, US 41 got moved over, part of Lafayette Avenue got closed down. The result was a lot less street traffic and the decline of the neighborhood. What 12 Points needs is they need for it to be a convenient and safe corridor for people to travel to the district. It's in a regrowth period right now where there's a lot of new businesses, but we need for it to be easier for people to get there. A half a mile south of 12 Points is Union Hospital, which is one of the city's biggest employers. Half mile to mile south of that is Indiana State University, which is a big employer and obviously has close to 10,000 students. And then just south of that is the downtown. We want it to be super pedestrian oriented. It's not right now. It doesn't feel safe to try to walk to 12 Points. You know, that's the stage we're in, and that's where this, it was perfect timing to have a senior design group come in and work on it. We got information from the community by going to the 12 Points Revitalization Group uh, weekly meeting. We went there and talked to the members of that area and see what businesses were coming and what they wanted to see done with their community. Just hearing them talk about the area, especially like some of the older folks, like when they describe what 12 Points used to be, you just see the magic in their eye. You just couldn't help but like contagiously get excited to bring that back so that other kids and people in the area could have those same special feelings and bond towards 12 points and bringing it back to life. The infrastructure is very dilapidated. We have sidewalks that are probably 100 years old. No ADA ramps in you know, many of the areas. They're basically just looking to, to upgrade it to the modern standards that we expect now. It's very inefficient to travel through 12 points. Things like six-way intersections, very few traffic flows going through the site. People are flying down the road because there are really wide traffic lanes and there are really wide spaces where pedestrians have to cross the street. It's overall very inefficient, but also dangerous. There are also problems with like flooding in certain areas. The existing sewer is a combined sewer overflow system that in other words, combines wastewater with stormwater. And when that overflows, it goes in the Wabash River, which is obviously a huge environmental hazard. We redesign an entire new street for bicyclists to travel, for pedestrians to travel, to separate vehicular travel from all the other travel. So not only is everybody safe, but they have like a designated area. On the traffic side of things will take five, six-way intersections, put in a roundabout so that there's consistent traffic flow there's the water resources side, which handles all the runoff, the combined sewer overflow, to ensure that there's not standing water on the corridor where people can hydroplane, where you know water's running off and overflowing into the Wabash River. It's keeping the rivers and streams and environment all around clean. Our goal here is to provide a much more safe, efficient, and kind of pretty looking uh, corridor for the community to use, which would also allow, of course, for the community to grow. What we hope the next step is that, that the local leaders really take notice that this is something the near north side of Terre Haute wants. They've shown us there's a solution to make this a bicycle and pedestrian friendly corridor without having really any negative impacts on the neighboring properties. Having the Rose Holman students help us has been invaluable. Having the pictures and and their data is very helpful and then we can take that information, present it to people who have more power than us and community leaders and potentially find grants and supplemental funding to help that piece of the community move even more forward. So this project represents mainly what I feel like Rose Holman has been preparing me for all four years. It takes not just the technical knowledge from classes but the problem solving abilities that I've gained through all my classes here at Rose Holman and led me up to this point of completing a project for a client that represents something I would do out in the field after I graduate.